What's going on guys, it's Alex here. So I wanna do a quick video today addressing a question that I get asked all the time. And it usually goes something like this. I have a knife, I have a quality stone, I have a strop, but I still can't seem to get my knife sharp. So what am I doing wrong and what can I do to fix it? Now, first off, that's a hard question to answer without actually seeing how you sharpen. But there's a couple things that I think I can go over real quick that don't have anything to do with technique that might be the reason why you're not getting the results you're looking for. First thing that I would look at if you're having trouble getting a decently uh, sharp knife or if you're saying to yourself, my knife seems duller than it was before I started sharpening, is what type of knife are you using? You can have a bad heat treat on good steel and end up with a crappy knife. You can have a good heat treat on relatively low quality steel and still get a great knife. Look at the steel quality. Is it a quality steel in the first place that you're trying to sharpen? If it's not, it's almost impossible to sharpen poor quality heat treated knife. This right here is the perfect example. This is a, a Schrade old timer. Um, I don't know the particular steel, it says T60. I don't know if that's the uh, steel type or not, but I've never been able to put a good edge on this knife ever. I'm still not able to. And the reason is, is because it has a poor heat treat. I think you get it to a point on the stone where it just starts to get to that super fine uh, apex and it either rolls or breaks off. The steel is just not strong enough to support its own weight or itself as it's being sharpened on the stone. This knife, the Tenacious, I can get this thing to shave just looking at it. Like it's just so much easier to sharpen. Now I know someone's gonna ask, well how do I know that I have a quality steel and it's just not my technique uh, that's messing me up? Well I would look at, now this I think has pretty much worked in every blade that I've uh, I've tested this on. And as I would look at how sharp did the knife come from the factory. If the knife came from the factory with a pretty good edge on it, and I mean like you can shave with it, you can do all the paper cutting, sharpness tricks that you want with it, odds are you're gonna be able to get that knife that sharp again. Now, if you get a knife and it comes out of the package and it's just not that sharp, you can feel it, run your fingers across it, it doesn't shave, it may pop a couple hairs, but it's not as good as it could be. Odds are you're gonna have a hard time getting that uh, knife any sharper than it comes from the factory. Now I think most people are going to recommend you start with a cheap knife. Now I may have even said that in one of my past videos. I wanna reword that and say, start with a knife that you don't mind ruining because you will either ruin it or you're gonna scratch the crap out of the blade, one or the other in your process of learning. But using quality knife with quality steel, um, it's just one of those things that you're gonna to have to do. Um, kind of in the process of learning, you might have to ruin a $40 knife. All right guys, so the next thing that I would look at if you are struggling to really produce a good edge, if you have a quality steel with a quality heat treat is your stone. I think a lot of times most people aren't starting out on a coarse enough stone. This is actually a $4 stone I got from Home Depot. This is a 320 grit edge. This is probably a 120 grit on this side. This stone is capable of producing a shaving sharp edge. Now one of the reasons that I would recommend starting off on a very coarse stone like this, especially in the beginning, is because it's easier to see whether or not you've apexed your blade. A burr formed on a coarse stone like this, you'll, you'll actually be able to see with your eye and you'll be able to feel very easily just by rubbing your finger up and down either side. But most of the time you can see it visibly just by looking at it. You can see the burr hanging off the side. Now on a finer grit stone, a 600 grit even, that burr is much harder to see. And it'll take you a lot longer to form that burr on a 600 grit edge. Don't underestimate how important it is to have a knife with quality steel and to start out on a coarse enough grit stone so that you fully apex on that coarse stone. Don't wait until you're like at 2000 grit to realize that you haven't fully apex because then you're just gonna go back and do it all over again. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, ask me in the comments. I try and read and reply to as many comments as, uh, as I see. Uh, sometimes I don't see them. Uh, YouTube doesn't notify me sometimes when I get a comment. It'll just go like, uh, write to an email that I'll get like three weeks later and I won't even get a notification about it. So I don't know what the heck's going on with YouTube notifications, but just something that we gotta deal with. If I miss your comment, I apologize, but I do read and try and reply to as many as I can. So 
Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Uh, hopefully this video helps and thanks for watching.